Hello everybody, my name is Ray. Welcome to the Evangelical Dark Web. Today, we're going to be talking about Lil Nas X mocking God by making Christian music. This is a pretty bizarre thing to do, but it does seem to be the next level of tr trying to troll God done by Lil Nas X. He has done a lot of risque things in music videos and songs, uh, and he's tried to do like Satan sneakers He's trying to do a lot of different stunts, but he is now trying to put his own music into it by writing and performing Christian music. So we have a video that he teased last week on Twitter, and that's what we're going to watch. But first, I want to let you know, Evangelical Dark Web is a Christian news gathering and commentary ministry. You can support our work over at evangelicaldarkweb.org slash join. And one thing that's weird is not many people are talking about this story. And I, I'm kind of curious why. Like, even the pearl clutchers, you'd think they'd be clutching their pearls at this. But I think this is actually pretty significant. Uh, the Christian music industry is not very reliable when it comes to discernment. They have a track record of promoting people who are not biblical at all. So, we'll see if this story picks up more traction, but... Lil Nas X is teasing a Christian song. So here is the tease. And he tweeted out, Y'all mind if I enter my Christian era? And he changed his uh, bio name to a cross. But again, this is not legitimate. This is not a real uh, genuine attempt to be Christian. So let's uh, watch the uh, music video that's teased. Father, scratch my hands. The lonely road seems to last the longest. Help me with my plans. Everything seems to go to nowhere. So, in the beginning, not really biblical as far as lyrics go you'll notice that he said help me with my plans there's nothing really christian about that type of lyric at all uh and we're gonna pay attention to his outfit because that's gonna be a significant uh pretty much big red flag that this is not a legitimate dude this is not a legitimate attempt at trying to create christian music So, quick notes. So, he's wearing a skirt. He's wearing a woman's skirt. And it's very long. Goes down to his near ankles. Uh, and he's also wearing a shirt that says, If God doesn't exist, then who's laughing at us? I don't know where that shirt comes from. But that's what he's wearing. This is very intentional. The fact that he's cross-dressing on the skirt. And, you know, then has a somewhat of a religious message on his shirt. Uh, it's also worth noting that he's completely auto-tuned, which just means that he doesn't have talent. Let's just be blunt about this. I don't want these feelings. I, I don't want these feelings. I call on angels. I'm trying hard to face my pain, yeah. Give me hope when I feel. So he's dancing in the middle of an intersection. No idea what intersection it is. Don't really care either. Uh, maybe there's significance to it. But lyrically, it's going to repeat the uh, chorus there and, you know, calling on angels as though he has the authority to do that. It's, again, kind of, it's not really Christian music. But. There is something about the lyrics that do engender a sort of emotional reaction to them because it is somewhat somber. It is somewhat tame. It's not happy or energetic. It is more introspective, which there are a lot of people that really like that. And let's just be real. Uh, most good music is not happy music. 
even a lot of hymns, you know, they, they talk about the suffering of Christ. Uh, they're not necessarily the happiest songs. Uh, so anyway, or they point out the tension between how good God is and how not good we are. So they, they have a tension to them. So I also find it weird that the guy is, you know, known for music videos of high production value, but there's vir virtually no production value in this video. So we're going to go back to the article and just uh, highlight the lyrics for a second here. So Lil Nas X, it's so it's father stretch my hand. The lonely road seems to last the longest. Help me with my hands. Everything seems to go nowhere. Free me from worry and wanting pity. Free me from all this envy. Uh, I don't want these feelings. I don't want these feelings. So there's a lot that's really about me. Uh, there's nothing really pointing to God. There's nothing. This could be one of those Jesus is my boyfriend songs, which would be very unsurprising from someone like Lil Nas X. So Lil Nas X is consciously, self-consciously making Christian music. And he then tweeted this out. I screenshot it rather than linking the tweet because I don't want this being deleted. Um, so he has no interest in genuine faith. He makes it very clear. Uh, he, he announced that his music is completely compatible with his buggery. Now, I didn't mention earlier in the video that Lil Nas X is gay. I probably should admit, I, I thought that's pretty well known. But yeah, he is known for being gay, known for homoerotic music videos. And he tweeted this out after the reaction to this video. And he said, making Christian music does not mean I can't suck dick no more. The two are not mutually exclusive. I'm allowed to get on my knees for multiple reasons. So he tweeted that, got 1.7 million views when I screen capped that. Uh, he, he is trying to mock God. Lil Nas X is trying to mock God and the church with his upcoming music release. This mockery has, you know, kind of the next threshold as though he were chasing a high. So he's done a lot of things in this and it's again, final question is will the Christian music industry welcome this change? I give it 50% odds. Will he be invited to the dove awards? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, and some people made the Kanye comparison, which is pretty interesting. Maybe he's doing this to troll Kanye, but Kanye backed his music video. That was about prison, butt sex. He was a producer on that. So why would Kanye disapprove of this? So that's all I got to say about that for now. My name's Ray. This is the Evangelical Dark Web. We will catch you on the next one.